Do you ever find being a Christian restrictive? Hi there, I'm Natty Anderson, and you're listening to Unlocked, your daily key to unlocking God's Word in your life. Do you ever feel like everyone else gets to do fun things and you're stuck being a goody two-shoes? Always having to do, say, think, act the right way? I've been there too. Sometimes I look around and get really frustrated. Other people my age are out there making not so great decisions, but they don't seem to have to face consequences and I'm sitting here working my booty off, trying to do and say all the right things. And what does it get me? If you've ever felt confined by being a Christian, this can be incredibly frustrating. So I encourage you to stick around for today's Devo, Freedom and Slavery by Ethan Terry. At times, the Christian life can feel a bit restrictive. Following God's good ways means certain things are off limits because sin hurts us and those around us. Yet sometimes saying no to sin doesn't make us feel very free. It might feel like we're missing out. But Romans 6 in the Bible has something else to chip in. It calls our life in Christ one of freedom and it tells us to submit no longer to the slavery of sin. Slavery? Sin is bad, you might say, but is it really like slavery? Paul, the person who wrote much of the New Testament, says that yes, it is. When we were under the control of sin, we had no options. Sin was our default impulse, and we defaulted to it often. We could not have willingly obeyed Christ if we tried. But God made the way to save us from our slavery to sin. Jesus Christ, who is God the Son, came and lived among us. He depended completely on God the Father as he walked perfectly in God's good ways, something we could never have done. Then he died on the cross and rose from the dead, defeating sin and death on our behalf. Now, if we know Jesus, he freely gives us his perfect righteousness or sinlessness because he loves us so much. In Christ, we're free from slavery to sin. While we still struggle with sin until he returns, the Holy Spirit helps us obey Christ out of love, not out of force. We can obey him as we would someone who has our best interests at heart, because that's exactly who he is. It's by doing God's will that we are truly free, and liberty is always better than slavery, if you ask me. So let's talk about this a little bit more together. Read Romans 8, 12 through 17. How would you describe our relationship with God because of what Jesus has done for us? Read Romans 8, 18 through 21. What else will God set free someday? As you and I can read in Romans 6, 4, For we died and were buried with Christ by baptism. And just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glorious power of the Father, now we also may live new lives. Now I encourage you to read in your Bible, Romans 6, 1-23 and 8, 12-21, to keep God's Word alive in your life. Unlocked is a resource of Keys for Kids Ministries. Do you have friends that would like Unlocked? One thing I love about Unlocked is that it's not stuffy. You know what I mean? It's not some devotional that you need a dictionary or a PhD in Christian studies to understand. It's simple. It's real. It hits you right where you are. If you have friends that are stuck in this slavery to sin like we talked about today, maybe consider sharing Unlocked with them. Also, be sure to check back for tomorrow's devotional about Joshua with Dylan. But until then, I'm Natty, encouraging you to live life unlocked, opening the door to God in your life.